Good day to you. Welcome to the Google Data Studio Getting Started Training video. I'm Dr. Chin. You may call me CKO. I'm a lecturer from University of Malaysia Sabah. In this video, I'm going to cover the basic knowledge of Google Data Studio. And there is no practice or hands-on in this video because I believe it is good to know the basic of a tool or a software before going in deep for the hands-on. I'm going to cover the following topics for the next few minutes. What is Google Data Studio? How Google Data Studio works? And why we use Google Data Studio? But I'm not going to compare Google Data Studio with other tools. Basically, Google Data Studio is a dashboard and reporting tool. It is similar to data wrapper, vision charts, Watson Analytics, or Tableau. All of these tools assist user to create dashboard and summarize data. In other words, it is a visualization tool. There are four major concepts in the Google Data Studios that everyone should know. Let's look at the data source. It allows users to import data from various of sources. The sources may come from either one of the services, such as Facebook Ads, Google Sheets, Google Analytics, through the third-party connectors and the imported data sources can be used to create reports or dashboards the relationships between data sources and reports are many to many that means a report can be created from many data sources and also many reports can be created from one data source the explorer is used to create data source from PostgreSQL for example and it is something very new and still in the beta versions. There are many advantages of using Google Data Studio. It includes create a dynamic report, means the report will be updated live based on user setting, probably update every four hours or immediately update once there is new data pumped into the data source. Build interactive experience, some of the graph may look comprehensive. So this feature will ease the view and data will be displayed when you move the cursor to the graph. Then there are free, limited free data studio templates for user. You can save your time for formatting the reports. User may access to the widgets options. You may drag and drop to create a chart or a graph. And user may pull data from 16 different resources or sources. However, the Google Data Studio shows that it can connect to more than 500 data sets from over 200 third party sources. Next, user can create simple and easy to read reports for everyone. And more importantly, the report can be shared easily. Personally, I like the first and the second features. Get dynamic reports and build interactive experiences. When I share about the Google Data Studios to my friends, they always ask the same question. Is that free? The answer is yes. It is free to use for all users with terms and conditions applies. Please be bear in mind that a free tool is not a perfect tool. And in fact, there is no perfect tool in the world. There is extra info that I want to share with you. First, visualization tools has been always named as intelligent tool. But in fact, it is not very intelligent. It does not mean that it will be very easy to create a report using any visualization tools. Do not ever expect that a visualization tool will visualize and summarize the data automatically. It is not. It still depends on the user. So in fact, you have to understand your data and understand of what you want to visualize from your data. Last thing is the internet. You need to log in to the Google account to use the Google Data Studio 
I strongly suggest you use it if and only if you have access to high speed and stable internet service. Otherwise, please consider other offline tools. Well, I hope this video is fruitful for you about the basic knowledge of Google Data Studio. In the next video, we will be focusing on creating reports from Google Sheets. Thank you very much for watching my video.